arm, suspected internal injuries, severe contusions to the head. Okay, these move fast. Premier solution of Arnica Montana, stack. Strength? One part in a million. Are you sure? It looks serious. You're right. We need to strengthen the dose. One part in ten million. On it, Doctor. Well, you've got a tricky one. Nothing we can't handle. Get me some wolfsbane, also known as monkshood in here. And a whole tray of flower remedies. Whoa, the chakras are fading. We need some crystals. Nurse, no, I should be some purple tinted quartz. Right. Make that aquamarine quartz. Good call. Okay, he's stabilizing. Now, does anybody know what sort of car hit him? The blue form Mondeo, apparently. Right, get me a bit of blue form Mondeo. Put it in water, shake it, dilute it, shake it again, dilute it again, do some more shaking, dilute it some more, and then put three drops on his tongue. If that doesn't cure him, I don't know what will. You should have a look at this, Simon. What is it? I don't think this poor chap's got long to live. Why not? His lifeline. Very short. <laughs> his horoscope's not too clever either. Sagittarius. Brace yourself for a surprise. Things are about to change for you. Certainly so are, unless... Wait. What? We could try drawing a bit more lifeline on with Biro. It would never work. You got a better idea? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Time of death, 3.34. Ish. Day, eh? I just can't stand losing them. It happens. I don't know. Sometimes I think a trace solution of deadly nightshade or a statistically negligible quantity of arsenic just isn't enough. That's crazy talk, Simon. Okay, so you kill the odd patient with cancer or heart disease, or bronchitis, flu, chicken pox, or measles. But when someone comes in with a vague sense of unease, or a touch of the nerves, or even just more money than sense, you'll be there for them bottle of basically just water in one hand and a huge invoice in the other. I suppose you're right. Now, another drink. I need one. Excuse me. Two more homeopathic lockers, please. 